What inspires change? What motivates us? It's what's inside that moves us. What moves you? Get the Scion story at scion.com. Head Start and Early Head Start fell to more than five and a quarter percent cut in their eight billion dollar budget. That after Congress enacted the 10 year, 1.2 trillion dollar across the board sequester in March. But Guam was one of several jurisdictions that was able to avoid reducing the number of preschoolers in the program that prepares disadvantaged kids for school, provides health screening, and free daycare for struggling parents. Event Sanchez. Chez Fuentes is director of the National Head Start Office at the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Basically, um, all programs have to take a 5% cut, but at the Office of Head Start, we were able to give programs some flexibility in how they ended up taking the cut. So, for example, in, in Guam, they looked at some of the other services or some of the other things that they pay for and figured out ways to take it out of those things. Guam's program had to save thousands of dollars, but with adjustments to staffing, operations, and equipment, 534 Guam preschoolers were able to stay in Head Start. But Fuentes says things could get tougher if sequestration continues. The Budget Control Act does have another trigger in it if Congress um, doesn't come to a resolution on the budget, um, and that trigger would kick in on January first. Um, and so we'll have to wait to see what happens uh, over the next, you know, uh, two months um, and then figure out how we can continue to support our programs. But it's going to only get tougher as programs cut back on these other things. Fuentes says her office told programs around the nation to, above all, maintain safety and quality. Guam Head Start had to cut vehicle maintenance, custodial, parent activity, direct health services, and computer printer supplies accounts. It also held off adding another one or two mentor teachers this year, and as over the years, hired only limited term staff, including just two full time teachers and 15 part time teacher aides. Guam Program Director Catherine Schroeder says with a possible increase in GovGuam salaries, she may still need to decrease enrollment or look at other options. And Fuentes says many programs already have a waiting list. Last year, Guam Head Start had 500 on its waiting list and expects to see the same this year. All this means even fewer kids under the poverty line will get the chance to go to Head Start if the cutting continues. On Capitol Hill, Matt Kay for PNC News.